And <coughs> here we go. This is Flash Somebody at In a Perfect World on Tuesday, the 25th of February, 2020. And I got a couple of co-hostages tonight for everybody's <laughs> fun and entertainment games. And thanks a lot, Grim, for, you know, all, this is like the last part where we got to beg for money. So send Grim. If you got money for, you know, don't, you don't know what to do with. Don't want to invest it in that, you know, future thing. Send it to Grim now so he can run the reallibertymedia.com. <laughs> that, that, that. Anyways, you guys want to say hey? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's this is Grammy, by the way. Yeah. And who else did I capture? You caught Rob. Ah, he's, he's being bubbling. strong, silent type. Yeah, we got Rob Works joining us, but he's on the yeah. bubbler right now, so he can't talk for a minute. You want to oh. you want to say hey to Grim and the bots and the bodies? Me, I get to do that, and then I get to okay. interrupt every damn word you say and make okay. it really weird. <laughs> Okay. All right. I, hey, we, we've got Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne on pipe <laughs> on pipe load tonight. <laughs> God bless you. Well, okay, over here in the RLM chat, hey, we got right up top Barman, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. Guess who just jumped in? Jay Dread, a good old Hans. I also see Beetle, but I have not seen Beetle chatting. Of course, it doesn't mean much because I have been running today. Um, I hope you're feeling better, Beetle. Oh, yeah. However the case may be. I also, you. I see Grimner, the RLM god. Yo, don't you know? Yo, Grimner. Yo, Grim. The lovely Moose Quail is also logged in, yeah, I, as I, I, well I, I, as the lovely Miss Kate, who is yeah. in the land of Oz. It's oh. the wonderful land of Oz. And I'm That's Glenda, the voice. I'm Glenda uh, the Good Witch. Should I do my voice, the Glenda the Good Witch voice? Now, you sa- sounds like, makes me think of Nancy Pelosi when you do the Good oh. Witch. Oh, yeah, you and the horse you rode in on. Wow. We also have Anti here. Anti. <laughs> As well as Chalcedoni, the lovely Cycles. Hey, Hello, Cycles. honey. She went upstairs. She's got to go to the city tomorrow. Yeah. Got okay. some damn Van Meter. Dang Donna. yum, Van Meter. Donna How you doing, Van woman? Meter, yeah. Sure is here. Yeah. As well as Frumpy. Frumpy. And yours truly. I also see Java, 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 Java Doctor 2, and we got some prints going on in the chat. Printing because cursive is rather hard to do on a computer screen. Let's <laughs> see Rob Wikes, who's also playing along here in a perfect world today. Mm. Uh, the Lovely Rooms is also here, as well as Vanna White, the letter turner of the RLM channel, closely followed by Weather Dork, who has decided that 45 miles an hour wind is appropriate for my neck of the woods today, while we have snow coming down. So snow that is falling over my house doesn't land for another 45 miles south. Just saying. Okay. Also got Phantom. It's the Phantom. I know. It's always the Phantom. As well as Asmodeus Asmo underscore. Got mm-hmm. some CC66 in the chat, too. As well as Chascura and the Cyborgian Noodle. That noodly dude. He not quite like Gumby, because Gumby at least has some kind of wire backing. I also see NCIV and E-Man. Frumpy Woik is also here. What is that you just shared, Frumpy Woik? Uh, da, 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 where was I at? Um, Gromit is also here, as well as JJ's, no, no, nine JJ's. Um, oh, Grimmy says I ain't drunk enough to be Pelosi. Good God, I have not. Wow, it's been a while since I've had an adult beverage, even. Holy smokes. Um, I hang out I in better JJ's? bars. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe JJ's is here, as well as Kim. No, he's not. Well, okay. okay, he's logged in. Yeah. We got some Papa Papa Pawn Sauce as well as Quasimodo Hunch oh, included at no extra charge. Hey. We also have <laughs> hey, we got a sock puppet here yeah. as well as as a little SLT Mike. Hey, Mikey, <laughs> he, he's my worthy. He's my worthy stuff. 
opposition sparring partner. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, Sweet. we we disagree on every freaking thing except the liberty part. Oh well, there you go. But the you know, details you don't have to not agree so, on everything. Nah, but the details not. So, yeah. Yep. I also see Slim Jim Flim as well as that smart ass. There's always a smart ass in every crowd. We got the holiest Roger ever. And Ami, 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 rounding out the crew, we got Z Picks. So there you go. I have done my intro for the day. You are very welcome. Wow. Now I need coffee. Wow. <laughs> coffee. Coffee, the wicked no. witch. Do it quickly. She's She's on a tear. A potential tear. Anyway, tonight anyway. I, I got two I got two hostages at the same time. Ooh, ah. Anyway, let's chitter chatter. <laughs> I I turned it into a question to make it sound more uh, understandable. I suppose I don't know. Are we living out that epic film Twelve Monkeys? And that. Wow, the drummer is good. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't know. You know, because it could be Twelve Monkeys, it could be one of the Terminator movies, it could be the Matrix movies. It could, it could be pretty much Hollywood is just letting us know this is what they're doing. I actually prefer the Wizard of Oz myself, because you know we could really be living out the Wizard of Oz as well. We could. It has flying monkeys. Is that close to the same thing? Well, I, did, I didn't mean to. Or, there you go. I was trying to get Rob to get a chance. Okay. Rob, go for it. Go for what? I don't know. Your the take moon, on it. You, yeah. The movie. Are we living out the epic film 12 oh, Monkeys? Or, or something, you know, or something similar to that. You you know that Hollywood's already made films about all the shit they're telling us is happening, so that we'll believe it's more real than it probably is, as usual. So when you point it out to people, they go, "Oh, you saw that in a movie, right?" Oh well, yeah. What a weirdo you are for thinking that way. Jeez. Yeah. yeah all that well, normal. You know, it's plausible <laughs> deniability. It's like, oh, pff, it's just a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy person, you. Yeah. That's how they do it. Because well, they do have to tell you the truth. They really do. The way the universe, at least to my way of thinking, the way the universe is set up, they have to tell you what they're doing, and you have to agree to it. So they put it out there in a movie, and then everybody goes, oh, pshaw, it's just a movie. Well, right, but then <laughs> legally, all oh, this legal game we play, they get us through these ways of trickery to get consent instead of just a you know intelligent consent or non-consent ours are assumed taken <laughs> uh, yeah you it's get assumed it. because you did not outright mm -hmm. say no and so therefore they assumed you consented and so they act on that yeah that's how they get away with that shit but like they, in the, whoever they are in the hitchhiker's guide when when the they're going to knock down his house. They go, we posted it, yeah, underneath the Jaguar cage in the basement, something like that. Right, uh -huh. where nobody ever goes. But they posted it there. It was there for 30 days. It's not my fault you didn't read it. And that's how you know the law works. They even, well, it's like the intergalactic posting before they destroyed the earth to put in an intergalactic superhighway. <laughs> it was posted for 50 of your earth years yeah. at such and such and such. Yep. But we live, we live like that. It's really, yeah. it's really sad. I wonder how bad it is here. Cause I don't, I don't speak the language. Yeah. Well, see, and that could be a blessing because well, what you don't know, well, it can't hurt you, but, at least you won't know it's coming. Well, our brother-in-law, Dennis, came by last night for a really little visit. And he, I don't know, he didn't seem ill or, you know, that coronavirus scares everywhere, as far as you can tell on the Internet. Right? Because there's yeah, so well, much traffic. I, I, I've been off Facebook, so I don't know what goes on there. Or Twitter. 
Well, from what I understand, there's like seven different coronaviruses, and and most most flus stem from coronavirus. Which, hey, guess what? Coincidentally, it also causes yeah. the common cold. Yeah. And you see, I see all these pictures all over the interwebs of people with their little face masks on, and I just, I can't even look anymore because I'm so tired of seeing this shit. Because it's like, okay, people, a virus can get through that. All that does is either make you feel better or keep you sick in your breathing. Oh uh, well, so you wait, just keep breathing in and so, out the sick. Wait, so if they're sick, they can't breathe the germs out through the mask. They can. Ah, well, there you un- go. Yeah. Until they get that like vapor barrier on the inside, because you always have moisture in your breath, and so as you breathe, it starts condensing on the inside of those even those little cotton things, and mm-hmm. and eventually, all you'll be doing is just breathing in and out your own sicky. Well, Rob, you you were a trauma guy, right? Uh, yeah, I was a paramedic. But do you have any experience with like just regular illnesses? Like, did they make you learn certain illness things about certain kinds of illness? Uh, yeah, about thirty six years ago. Well, right, but I mean, did you did you deal with uh, things that like no, this I never virus? Dealt with any kind of any kind of outbreak or any kind of crap like that. So is that all new? Dead bodies from Beirut. Mm. The fun stuff. But all this, all, most of this virus stuff is really new stuff then. Uh, well, are you muting in and out, you guys? Um, so this virus I stuff, I'm, well, I figured to ask Rob because he's got a medical background, ex- you know, experience in it. So I figured it, whatever they were teaching him back when he was doing it, this probably wasn't part of it. No, we didn't have any kind of pandemic training or pandemic wasn't even a, a thing back then. Right. But look at all the all the positions you got into as a paramedic that most people never have, have that happen to them. But no, we had we had some some. Uh, biological warfare training, you know, hazmat suit, how to how to wear a gas mask, basically, and uh, we didn't even have those detectors like now. <laughs> yeah. uh, Test for uh, chemical agents and all that stuff. Hmm. The technology's gotten out of hand. What well. Is Hmm. Technology has bypassed the humanity quotient. Thirty-eight years ago. Damn, it's been a lot. Well, <laughs> okay. So, what do you? How do you? If this conversation happens to you at where you're at, okay? Because I'm far, far away from where you are. I'm not going to have this conversation. So you, you have some conversation back home about this Corona crap. What do people say? Is it real? Is it another hoax? Um, I think it's fear porn. I mean, I'm sure it's real. I'm sure there's people that are sick, but there are extenuating circumstances. You know, like how much pollution is in the area. Oh, wait, they had a training drill on biological, you know, an escaped biological something or other, something or other, in the Wuhan province just prior to the outbreak. Um Coronavirus has been around for a very long time. There have been talks about it for, mm. since yeah. what 2004. There have been different little trainings on the coronavirus. <laughs> Corona is just another strain of the flu. I mean, it's yeah, or the common okay. cold. Right. So yeah, it's uh, like you said, it's fear porn. Uh, wow. How many people died from the flu last year? Right, and Cirque said that the number, it was 1% of the people that, you know, reportedly, whatever that is, got the, the, got the flu. 1% of them died. Yeah. And the amount of people that are going to get this coronavirus, 2% of them are expected to die. Well, that's yeah. not, that doesn't sound any, like any big threat to me. 
And if you actually look at some numbers. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Thousands of people die every year from the flu. And most of them die from complications due to other problems that they have, like asthma, emphysema, lung problems, you know, whatever it may be. They're, they're weak already, and they catch this stuff, and it kills them. That's what happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So they've been blasting us with whatever they've been blasting us with and feeding us poison food and giving us poison water and and uh, add the uh, all the EMF and add the whole soup of everything we're immersed in here. And, yeah, no wonder people are getting sick and dying. Um, you can uh, – I don't, you know, I don't believe any of it, but, you know, there's a level four bio warfare lab in, in Wuhan and 53 other places around the world. Mm. Uh, if they had released a bio weapon, it seems to me it would be way more pronounced. Yeah, it would be a lot more deadly, but it's not. And I just posted a link in uh, the chat about a 17-day-old baby girl that recovers from the coronavirus without any medical intervention or any medication. Yeah. That's a 17-day-old baby. The ones that are dying are the ones with weakened immune systems. Exactly. So they're culling the herd, and they're trying to do fear porn and make money off of it at the same time. My personal opinion. I was shocked yesterday. My blood oxygen level is 97%. What is it supposed wow. to be? I don't know. Ah. Uh, I was 90, 90 plus is good. Okay. I was expecting it to be horrible. Oh, uh, okay. Now after smoking for 40 years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, anything over 90 is good. I know this because I've been having to deal with this with my mom. So. Yeah, anything yeah. over 90 is good. Yeah. yeah. My mom died of COPD, so uh, I was expecting because her uh, oxygen levels were down close to 50. Mm. And, yeah. And, yeah, that was, she had she was on oxygen, of course, everything. But I was expecting mine to be at least probably no better than 80. It come out 97. Well, you have a really good saturation yes. ratio then. Take off. <laughs> Do what? Dayquil? I'm going to say it's the snake oil. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Yeah, it is. That's actually, that's actually a, a, one of the things it does. If you looked at any of the, the, that blood test video I put up, uh, it makes sense. Yep, and I looked up all the ingredients that are in your uh, CBD oil, and yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's got all good stuff. Resveratrol, MSM, ashwagandha. Do you know resveratrol is also very good for eyesight? Mm-hmm. It is yeah. an eye vitamin. Yeah, and it's, it's a, good for your liver. It's a synergistic blend. Yep. You know about good blends. Stuff. It is very good for you. And it's natural. Your body can absorb it as opposed to the synthetic crap that they're making in pharmaceutical companies that your body can't absorb anyway unless it's, you know, like the neurotoxins that get right pass through the blood-brain barrier and then they do all kinds of havoc up there. Grim says it's the weed, Rob. It increases your O2 saturation. Mm. Well, yeah. And See? yeah, it does. The benefits of and we're all raised with all these horror stories about it. it's gonna make you uh, eat your sister's leg while you're dancing on a piano naked. No you're not. That's stupid. That's well, whiskey you know, stories, you know. People do that shit when they're drinking though. We're <laughs> all gonna die. Not eventually. me. Nah, eventually. Don't tell me that. Add negative <laughs> Nelly. <laughs> wow. Cirque is going to be so bummed. Run Thanks. away. Run away. Go where? Huh. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you can outrun the old guy with the black uh, 
hooded thing and the scythe because that you know I learned from my brother when you have that extended reach like from a crutch or a scythe you yeah. can get you no matter how fast you run you know speaking of no matter how fast you run I got a question for you two <laughs> the two of you you guys are armed you're armed and dangerous and you may be able to help me answer this question because nobody I've never heard anybody ask it okay ready for this <clears throat> Which, which insurance company underwrote the moon landing? <laughs> None of them. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Mary? <laughs> Make a movie in the studio. <laughs> oh, but you know what? They still underwrite stuff, but they, I think they were all going like, no. Well, no. <laughs> Not interested. Well, yeah. if they had a underwritten the moon landing, at, you know, in, for insurance purposes, it would have been like that movie, The Producers. They're looking to, to fail. <laughs> Never mind. Well, or yeah, or like nine eleven, you Uh-oh. know, where you you purchase it like sixty days prior to and insure the hell out of it, and then go, oh look. It fell down. Pay me my $90 billion. Yeah, off a $15 million investment. The guy yeah, made that's like, a hell I don't of a know, return, ain't it? How many billions of dollars off that insurance claim? It was a, the whole thing's big story. Come on. That's all the shorts on American Airlines. What? What, what, what? All the shorts on American mm-hmm. Airlines? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh you're, yeah. He's talking in American stock. On American taking a big hit. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's gambling, Rob, the million, stock market. You can million dollar shorts on American Airlines. How can people take this seriously if they know that you can gamble on the ups and downs of a company's profits? <laughs> what? Well, you, right now. But we'll we'll call it the stock market. We'll promote some things, but not other things. And then we won't promote those things. We'll promote the other things. Keep everybody jumping around. And but in order to play, you already have to be a multimillionaire. Mm-mm. No, you don't. No, you you could play. No. With, you could play with none. I, would, I know you can play, but in order to play, to be a big a big boy, yeah. Oh, come on, those are clubs that in the real game yeah. instead of the little kitty games that they have, you know, outside the circus. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. In order to yeah. get under the big tent, you got to be. Established. Well, and not a lot of people understand. Look into, get, look into getting a, bro, a, 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 a online or brokering, uh, whatever they call it. So you don't think they insured the company to go to the moon, huh? Wow. You can't even launch a boat without insurance. What does the government need insurance for? They just steal the money. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's just one more reason why this thing should never have been... Sold to us the way they did in the first place, but it's got a big following. Because <laughs> I looked up at the sky and goddamn it, I saw a moon. We went there. We own it. Shut up. <laughs> you know we got telescopes that can see, you know, other galaxies. I suppose. I, I don't spend time. You don't that. think any of these telescopes can look on the surface of the moon, find that flag? I guess they should, right? They should be able to, but you know, probably with pixelation issues and all that other fun stuff, you just can't get a really clear picture of oh, that Oh, yeah. That. <laughs> sure. and, and the sandstorm probably blew it down. Because <laughs> it, it was waving. <laughs> Must have been yeah, one of was, those but moon, You moon can't storms. have a sandstorm because uh. There's no oh. atmosphere. Then it, it was an um, atmosphere storm, Mary. <laughs> well, maybe maybe it was, um, you know, a solar wind. <laughs> the sun had gas. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that's yeah, why it yeah. fluttered. I have gas. Hey, do you guys want to play that American game, Assume the Crime? What? Asset forfeiture, man. Trump's all for it. He wants to take all your shit. Right. Yeah. yeah, asset What's forfeiture. It? I call it assume the crime. I thought you were, you know, innocent until proven guilty, and now they got next. <laughs> it's not looking very good from this side of the, of the water. 
Yeah, we're steadily moving towards a Klingon justice system. Whoa. Can I quote you on that? Yes. Ah, we. Okay. No charge. Ah, even better. (laughs) Open source. (laughs) Open source. Okay, never mind. Moving along. Okay, we are slowly moving towards a Klingon... Sure. Well, I got that part. I just want to type it out right. A, oh, okay. Okay. A Klingon what? <laughs> justice system. That's it. I couldn't see justice to me didn't fit. That's because I in the could, Klingon justice system, it's two words, uh, just uh, us. <laughs> hey, I think I'll write it that <laughs> way, too. <laughs> in the Klingon justice system, you're presumed guilty, and you're only there in court to beg for mercy from the court. Yeah, actually. I know that, but... That's a fluke that I know that. Everybody should know that, you know, by now. Have a, a working understanding of a person and you. And if you are a person, be a person at your own peril. It's not you know, it's not gonna end well for us. <laughs> you know, I used to I used to I used to think that. Hmm. But then I decided, fuck that. They don't get to define my words. I, I'm a person if I fucking want to be a person. True, but the identifying it with that kind I'm of power. Driving, if I feel like fucking calling it driving, I'm driving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all decided to change the definition of the word drive, driver, vehicle, <laughs> and motor vehicle, <laughs> and all that crap. I'm, how, how did I get bound to your definitions? Fuck you. There you go. Amen. You did, uh, you How you did it was... My parents signed me away on the birth certificate. So? There's a part... Well, the system takes this crap seriously, Rob. So? See, and that's that's the thing. A lot of people say, oh, there's no such thing as Satanists or Lucifer or any of this other fun shit. It's, it's immaterial what you believe. It's what they believe. Yeah, And if they much. believe it's yeah. so, yeah. then they act on that belief, which is why I call it a be life, because yeah. there They're is a lie. over on me and have me go, well, okay, I guess I just didn't understand life. Um, go, go ahead and do whatever you got to do. No. They're going yeah. to they're gonna have to both face out in the open and say, we're a bunch of freaking authoritarian motherfuckers, and we're going to violently <laughs> yeah. make you – Follow our rules. Yeah. Yep. And and basically, you need to submit and and and, and uh, quote consent to any of their bullshit. Well, and that's why the cure to all of their bullshit is simply saying no, no. I don't want to play. Yep. Cop asked your question. No comment. I've done, I've done that. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not laughing at you either. And then they let me out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, you got... I, I thought, the guy finally said, so you're not going to talk to me, are you? I said, like, oh, finally got a clue, did you? Because <laughs> he asked me like 30 questions. No comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. And then about an hour later, they said, okay, you're free to go. Cause they well, because they could not back. trick you into incriminating yourself. Right. See, it's all that legal paperwork crap. Mm-hmm. Well, and a lot of them don't even understand it. That's the sad thing. A lot of people don't realize that a lot of them, a lot of the cops, a lot of the doctors, a lot of the teachers, hmm. they don't understand what's going on either. They're just going by what they were told. Hmm. Wow. So, you, you think that little – see, that's my problem is I give people a lot more – credit to use their ability than they seem to be able to do. You'd be surprised how many people will just go, well, well, but if I did that, I might lose my job. But if I did that, then yeah. people might think bad of me. They might think I'm crazy. And so even when you explain it to them, they go, well, I'm not going to go there because, you know, some people might think I'm nuts. Big whoop what someone else thinks. Oh, and I kissed the system's ass to get the documents so that I wouldn't have to be a pirate. 
because I had traveling plans. And the way I travel, if you don't have that damn documentation, you're, you're a fucking pirate. And whatever water you're in, that's, <laughs> that's where you're going to do the time if you get caught. And I didn't want to. Li- I didn't want to live that that life. It wasn't appealing. It's not easy being stateless. No, it, it's not. You can't travel anywhere. No. You have to. They stay. actually recognize that yeah. if you're stateless. Right. They have a program and everything for it. Well, okay. So ha- try giving me a simple guide definition of stateless, so that I'm clear on what, it, what exactly you mean. Stateless means you've abandoned any and all citizenship hmm. with any nation. So how do you do that when they've already conned you into applying to all their shit? You renounce citizenship. Well, I don't think I'll have to. If I don't use my Social Security in I seven... I've officially gone through and officially renounced my citizenship because I don't uh, recognize their authority... <laughs> To make me even do that. Okay, well, I was trying to say, Rob, is if I don't use my Social Security number for a seven-year period, I'm legally dead at that point. Oh, well, then I'm dead. Mm. Long dead. Well, that's why I interrupted you to give you that point to research on your own. Because uh, there's only the two documents that matter are the birth certificate and the right. death certificate. I rescinded my uh, signature on the Social Security form hmm. uh, application wow. in 1982, so I don't care. And uh, hmm. In other words, I no longer agree to your terms. Um, there you go. So, well, fuck you in the neck. So you're saying taking back your what? What would you call that? The, for the notes, so I can make a, of signature. Taking back your signature. Recension. Recension. Hmm. I just put it in the chat. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I can I can read better than I can spell. I'm not. <laughs> well, hey, I, I'm not back bullshit. I'm not the All smartest. The I'm not the smartest fellow in the room. Damn it! I know that. But I got good company, so it's usually good. All right, so where, where, where did it go? There it is. I always. All right, yeah. Mm, where is I yeah. Re, well, S. Okay. Recension. So funny word. Recension. All right, okay, so I'm now. Well, how. I spelled it the way I saw it. R e s c i n s i o n. I'm going to just take that link and I'm going to copy it. Just put it in damn notes. About it. Affidavit of application and receipt. There's all kind. Of, this is probably a good one from Family Guardian. I've used their stuff. And there's more people trying to get into this government thing than there are people trying to get out of it. No? And that's strange. Well, it's when I was in it, I must say it had its appeal to a point. Well, you know, if you don't care about what's in your name and what your tax money is spent on and you just want to go through life and Uh-oh. have a beer and football... On the weekends and NASCAR and titties. Hey. No, I, I was uh, not that kind of a. I'm a different kind of lazy slop than that. I'm more yeah, like uh, Mary. What do you think, Mary? I'm not built like that. Do what? Well, what? You, what? You're a tinkerer. You do things. Well, like uh, Cirque. Cirque crochet or something. I, I got my jigsaw mm-hmm. puzzles. Look. You know, I like to solve puzzles, but then at the end come out with something I can have as, you know, I did that. I did solve that puzzle. So I'm like legally blind, so for me to do these puzzles is so fucking amazing. It's worth doing. Well, Ta-da! see, and I like doing puzzles as well, but I also like, but yeah, 
staying busy, keeping your hands busy, that kind of stuff keeps you out of trouble. Huh? Idle yeah, hands. <laughs> now, I posted the link to uh, Notice of Recession Revocation of Signatures. And if you're interested in that, there's uh, the information is available for you. And there's if, tons of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And if you're not in, interested in that, well, then you're probably not hanging around here. <laughs> You know, it's got a, it's got an interesting appeal. Even if I if I said I wasn't going to ever do it, I have a different plan. It's still interesting and in, in enough for me to open it and go, hey, what is this? Check this out. Blah blah blah. Which opens up other doors later for other things. Like uh, when you thought I I was trying to have uh, biscuits and gravy, and I was just reminiscing about it. Cirque thought I wanted it. Everybody thought I wanted something. And when I finally got to explain myself, uh, <laughs> it was it was so relieving. You know? But the in, the interest that people have in you know details of things that they know is incredible. So whenever I have a technical problem, I go to reallibertymedia.com. dot com. There you go. Yeah, and if it's a real serious thing, I'll go right to Grimner and wait until he's got some time to talk to me about it. But there's a half a dozen guys on the RLM that know all about it. Rob's one of them. He knows how to maneuver certain shit around this internet. You're not the best at the computer either, Mary. So I was we in that story. <laughs> That, ah. that was a us story. <laughs> that was an us and kind of thing. <laughs> That's like being part of we, my cult, you know. You don't know it, but when you need to know it, you'll be glad you're part of it. <laughs> oh, so it's like being a statist. You don't know you're a statist, but, but once someone points it out to you, you go, nah. <laughs> yeah, like that. there's a law for that. <laughs> Maybe we should. Or there ought to be. Be called Klingons. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's only around your anus. I don't so, know. Okay. Or have you visited a big city lately? Either of you? Define <laughs> big city. Uh, 100,000 or bigger. Oh. Hmm. Uh, I no. don't think so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. See, to no. me, a big city is like anything bigger than 10,000. Okay, yeah, I've been to a big mm. city. <laughs> no, 10,000. Big city. <laughs> 10,000 is a village, but uh, good try. Mm. Oh, I was just well, thought, I, I've been reading all this horror stuff from America. I thought you guys would tell me the truth. Ah, uh, Well, you know, I ain't been to one of them there big cities, so mm. I have no freaking clue what's going on in there. All I see is this shit on TV, and mm. it's a bunch of shit. So, <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. There you go. Like, wait, <laughs> so are, are you telling me the news that is available for the public to enjoy is not true? It's it's a bunch of spewage. Wow. If it, if it ain't shit, it's violently coming out the other end. It's spewage. Spewage. That doesn't sound very good. You don't sound like a fan of this. Uh, no, I'm not. Well, what do you do to keep informed of what's going on in the you know, the immediate world? And what do you call the immediate world? Uh, well, usually when my mother calls, she'll ask me about something, and then I'll go on the Internet and research. <laughs> Because I don't get regular news. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm driving somewhere and I happen to hear no news in the radio, but other than that, it's either on the interwebs or I don't hear it. So, I hear drums in the background. Is that like bongo drums? Mm, yep. Something oh, like that. Okay. It's okay. Rob, Rob's beat. Rob's joining us at the door table on a Tuesday. He's he's playing something. The love song like of the and I play the drums and Graham can sing. I like, I heard the most ridiculous comment out of somebody on a, like a advertising 
uh, news program thing where they talk real fast and they've got their point to make and all this. And this one guy made a, makes a comment about this could bring the anarchist community together to do something crazy. And my first idea was, what are you fucking talking about? But because I've seen the negative side of what society represents anarchy as, I understand what the fuck he's talking about. Now, tell me that's not sad. I'm going to oh, I just I'm gonna cry. I saw something on Twitter earlier today about uh, anar- anarchists for communism. And I thought, <laughs> oh, Lord. Not <laughs> it just goes yeah. to show you. That this stuff's a bunch of shit. I'm nuts. Anarchist. And the truth is, anarchy is yeah. what we have. It's all there is. It's all there can be. Probably everything else yeah. is a fucking illusion. Yeah. It's and a fucking anar- bullshit story they sold you to get you to support their bullshit. Mm-hmm. We've been saying that for a few days now, Rob. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a common theme. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I mean, uh, 30 years I've been screaming it. Fuck. Yeah. Well, <coughs> excuse me. There's a lot of people that just flat ass do not. That's not true. Actually, I haven't been screaming that for 30 years, but I've been speaking against them. I started out with the stuff in the Social Security and tax, paying taxes and all that. 82 is the year I quit filing income tax returns, too. Yay, there you go. There you go. The lessons learned. As long as you don't have anything on paper for them to steal, they leave you the fuck alone. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for 30 fucking years. Well, yeah. It's like we went to the doctor yesterday. That lady looked at me. Oh, man. I told her I didn't have a social security number or an ID. And then she just, she couldn't think of anything. <laughs> she was just, <laughs> <laughs> just very solid 30 seconds of dead silence. Just kind of, you could just, like, shit pop it inside her head. Well, yeah. It was, uh, but you planted well, a seed her, there. Then I gave her my standard excuses. Oh, well, I lost everything in a hurricane down in Texas. And uh, it's all gone. And uh, did you know that to go get an ID in the state of Texas, they want three forms of ID? Oh, they do in <laughs> Kansas, too. <laughs> <laughs> and proof of where you live, like uh an electric yeah. bill or a phone bill or something along those lines. It's so, crazy. Yeah. So um, you can't even get your birth certificate. <laughs> it's like catch 22. So, okay, I guess I just fell through this whole crack. Not that I wanted to do that, but that's the excuse I used. Right. It kind of proves all this conspiracy nut theory about it's only about the piece of paper anyway. It ain't about you as a life form. It's about that piece of paper. Now, I've got a copy of my birth certificate here where I'm at, right? Mm -hmm. And it's still sealed. I haven't opened it up. But everybody was saying that on the Internet that I was reading that on a corner of of your birth certificate is the bank that owns you in the border trim. Their name will be st- in, it'll be embedded or stamped or something in that. So I wanted to see it for myself. I just haven't got around to it yet. That's bullshit. It's just bond paper. It's the printer that printed the fucking paper. Right, but it'll tell you the bank that owns your paper. See, which is why I've always said the Americans. And that's just one of those patriot patriot bullshit. Well, well not, the not really. If it is the number. Well, how do you think it matters? I haven't opened it yet, so I'm not not sure. That's the account number. Right. See, all these things are true. So it's just a matter of having the the paperwork kind of defeats 
um, fighting it. But I used all this stuff over my lifetime to travel because I didn't want to live the life of a pirate and risk being in prison. So, hmm. but in every other area of life besides acquiring identification, I didn't. I didn't do anything else except marriage. Did that. So, hmm. you know, I've never bought anything with credit or uh, whatever, bank loans, none of that shit. Never had a loan or credit card? Not, uh, nope. I had a lot of relatives that would go, hey, here, use my card. We, blah, blah, blah. So, no, I've never really needed. Uh, <laughs> Wish I had some people who uh, needed it. Right, see, so life took took me down times where shit worked before. People I was hanging out with didn't want me to work. They'd rather I was with them. But I didn't have no money, so they bought everything. So, wow, how do you get into shit like that? Then there's times where it wasn't like that at all. <laughs> just, you know, life has just cycles to it or something, a pit, ups and downs, shit like that. And I think that most of us are, are taught to, <coughs> like the dog, hunt something. And I was more just like a dog chasing a, this car for two minutes and then turn around and chase a different car. For no fucking reason. Just, ah, I'm bored of this one. I'm going to try that one. But most people have that longevity thing going on. They've got plans. And I never did. I tried it, but man, everybody knew I was full of shit. <laughs> There's no way. Okay. Well, since I'll leave you alone this time, you got grounds to keep going with. Oh, I'm going to step out the smoke. I'll be back in. Okay, time. Rob, you do that. Oh. Miss Mary, entertain me with your story. <laughs> with a story? Well, Russia declares that the election is entirely too chaotic for it to successfully interfere with. Wow. That's. That's the story I'm seeing right now, and I'm thinking, see, Putin ain't as dumb as the MSM and uh -huh. and politicians think he is. Right. He knows a clusterfuck when he sees one. Mm. I think the whole thing is just a big game. I don't think there's any enemies at that level of humanity. When you're that important in society and life and all that shit, you don't have enemies. See people that have enemies are poor people and that's so that we'll be distracted by stupid shit so we'll never see how fucked over we're being by these idiots that think they own the color blue they can't own the color blue i need the color blue to make purple because that's my favorite color is purple. wait wait until there's a tax on the color blue uh well fuck them i ain't paying it how do you know i'll, ch I'll charge them a tax on the color red because I need blue and red, and by the time I'm, it's all said and done, yes. I'll get my purple free and clear. So there. Ah, well, there. You, I don't know. You always make it difficult to fight with me, damn it. Ah, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I don't know. How, I, I'm, hmm, maybe I better open me a can of spinach. <laughs> There ah, you go, 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 you go, can go. be Popeye. Ah, okay, don't get that shit out of you. I don't know. Kill all your ass. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No? Yeah. Anyway, so, did you listen to Grimm's show yet, or do you? <laughs> no, I haven't. It, I've, it I've, was I've, fun. I've, me, and, me and Cirque do it on Tuesdays when, when she works. She mm -hmm. comes home from work, and then after all that shit, she goes, hey, let's listen to Grimm's <laughs> leftovers. So we did, and he made some astute observations on his on his uh, podcast. He always does. Grimmy's a smart fellow. Ah, uh, is he one of those? Yes, he is. How do you know? Yes, he is. Prove it. Prove it. Prove I don't it. Have to prove. I don't have to prove shit. You sure? Because it, no, it doesn't make damn bit difference what I say. You're going to believe what you want to believe anyway, so I ain't going to try and prove shit. Well, you make so a there. lousy hostage. I know I do. What kind of hostage are you? You're going to argue with me. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I am kind of sassy. <laughs> there you go. What kind of hostage? 
Hey, you know how, how the, in the movies about the pirate days, they had these things called the, the plank, this bit of wood, uh-huh. and the guy is supposed to walk out? That's not what they did. Oh, that brings, yeah. That's a I lot. Someone, do what? That's a lot softer than what they really did. Oh. See, Hollywood. Yeah, I was offered some wood the other day, but I don't think it, and it could have been a plank, but I don't, uh, I don't uh, think it had splinters involved. Right, but Hollywood softened up how they punished people on on board a, a ship. Yeah. Because if they showed you what they really did, it would be so disgusting. You'd go, oh my god, and you know, it would really fuck you up. And yet, you look at all of the crap that's coming out of Hollywood right now and you think and then you listen to them when they're giving their little acceptance speeches at their self congratulatory meetings that they have that are televised so the whole world can watch them pat themselves on the back. Um a lot of the crap that they're putting out they speak out against in real life. <laughs> well you know, I made that movie uh-huh. but you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't have guns. You shouldn't do. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. But I made a shitload of money off of <laughs> pretending that I did. Yeah. I know. I know. And, and, and then now I pat myself on the back for it because I did such a good job. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then their opinions in, in society matter because they made a movie. Yeah. What? Or... Or, even better than that, they made a album. What? So, I came to the decision a few years back that it doesn't matter what you're hearing. You're hearing the same source is sending you both sort, both answers. Do what now? I'm sorry. <laughs> the same source is sending uh-huh. you the, both the negative and the positive. You're getting... Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you're not getting, oh, look, I found the truth. No, you, no, you didn't. The truths have been out there the whole fucking time. But you've had enough time to absorb the lies so that you have to recognize the truth. <laughs> See? Well, yeah, and some of some of it is, you know, I really, I wonder if maybe we don't have to have all of these wonderful little nasties going on hmm. so that, we can, if nothing else, realize, no, I don't want that. I, I, I don't like that. Right. This ain't working for me. This is where I want to go. And, you know, a lot of people, some of the best lessons in life, learn be, you learn because it caused you pain, like sore backside from mom or dad. Or, you know, you did something, hold my beer, watch this, and you realized after you got out of the hospital that I ain't doing that shit again. You know, sometimes negative or painful is a much better teacher than rainbows and butterflies. Oh, wow. Aren't you a negative Miller? I'll, well, I'll take the rainbows and butterflies over an ass kicking any day, you big bully. Ooh. See, I can truly appreciate the rainbows and butterflies now because mm. I've been through the other part. And I'm not saying I won't <laughs> be through more of the other part, but at least it will let me go... Mm. No, that's one more thing I'm adding to the list of things I don't want. I'm going back over here to the rainbows and butterflies. Thank you very little. Yeah. So, but do you ever watch net Netflix? Oh yeah, I watch Netflix. Actually, they got a way cool uh, Netflix original called Babies, mm-hmm. and it really surprises me that this is on there because a lot of it is pretty much. I've only seen like. Three episodes now, three or three or four. I don't remember. Three, I think. That's so cool. Far. Okay, three sounds good. But um, in any case, they, you know, <laughs> a lot of what is coming out in this is basically against pharmaceuticals wow. and um, um, accepted contemporary medicinal system. You know, it's it's more along the lines of natural and proper nutrition and proper exercise. And, and it's like, dude, this is on Netflix. Didn't they put Dangleberry and Michelle on the board of that? And they're coming out with this? Where's the catch? So I haven't watched all of the episodes le- yet. Hmm. 
but I'm waiting for the you know the the shoe to drop about mm. oh we're just kidding. Yeah, go ahead and inject your kids and well, feed them drugs. What and, difference would it make at this point? That, that every story's been told. There's there's nobody to convince of anything. So it doesn't matter. Well, the the thing that matters to me, what I really found fascinating is there's this gal that's a, a forensic anthropologist, mm. and she, you know, she was curious in uh, composition of milk, you know, because it was part of the dietary system of peoples in the past for a long, 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 long time. Mm. So she was curious about the composition of milk, and while she was doing her her um, experiments, of, <coughs> excuse me, and Ooh, stuff, she found that um, a, a cow produces a different formula of milk if she has a female calf as opposed to a male calf. And then she got into studying monkeys, and you know, with with their breast milk. And found that there's pretty much the same kind of thing. Uh, it's the milk consistency, the nutrients in the milk, all that other fun stuff is different depending on if she had a male or a female baby. And so that led her into humans. And then, it, you know, um, she said that they're finding now that that if a little one comes down with a cold, the mommy knows this and the breast milk actually contains more stuff to help the baby um, build its immune system to fight off the cold or the flu or the whatever. And all three of them so far, this is, you know, they're focusing on breastfeeding and it's the natural way. And this, I started watching it right after um, I'd seen this thing from the UK about how they were going to stop referring to breastfeeding as natural because it's steering people away from formulas and vaccines. And so catching up with this, it's like, okay, the universe gave me this nonsensical BS, and then it also laid this on my Netflix suggestions, and I thought, Wow, see what the universe does? It gives me the stupid and it gives me the good. Mm. And then it's up to me to decide. Oh, and I've wow. decided that the, the breastfeeding side is the good side because that's the natural immunity as opposed to the injecting your child with all kinds of weird shit, and neurotoxins, and mm -hmm. creating a customer for life for the big pharma industry. Wow. Mine wasn't as deep as yours. Hmm. Uh, I I was watching about the Unabomber. You was watching about the what? The Unabomber, Ted Kaczynski. Oh. Because well, I agree with Ted's um, theory and his statement about this this machine uh, needs to be dismantled before it, it gets to where it is now. Would now it's unstoppable. And except for the killing part, I was with him on all areas. But when he got violent and started, you know, trying to kill people with bombs. But I found out through this program on Netflix that I'm watching about him that he was a, an experiment for three years. Nobody knows what happened. <laughs> One of those. Oh. Yeah, but if you if you watch the program and you find out what his reasoning that led him to the violent part was, you'll agree with everything up to killing people to get to make it stop. That was psycho. Huh. A rational minded person, no matter how intelligent, will not justify murder uh in any way. In stranger, friend, it wouldn't matter. Foe. No, a rational mind will avoid death. But yeah, okay. But his opinion of the the society, the the, techni the technical part of this, is it should have been abandoned when he was complaining at those t at that time. But what he wasn't doing was complaining; he was killing people instead. 
to get their attention, but not telling them what they what he wanted. So in the end, yeah. he comes out just looking like a killer, for you know no particular reason because average Joe's attention span is about I don't know, cigarette length. Oh, not even that. They've already proved it's shorter than the attention span of a goldfish. Ooh. Well, okay, <laughs> that's according to the interwebs a couple of years ago. But I know people whose attention span is hell. My there's days when my attention span's only that long. So, so a seven-hour class on the Constitution is pretty much out. Huh? But a what? Yeah. Wait, what? Seven-hour class on the Constitution. There's no Constitution. That got stripped so long ago. It was stripped before we were here. Yeah, yeah well, nobody tucked any dollars in its G-string. We were just told stories, Rob, and, and the society physically didn't know they were being lied to on the news. I don't think we all knew that. I don't think I knew that until I was at least in my 20s, where I could yeah, prove I that ain't true. But I was part of that, you know, the machinery that of modern day society in my day. I served my weird purpose, whatever that was at the time, to make the bigger thing what it was. It's like everybody had a, a game to play. No matter how how you label their game, it was uh, necessary for the society to function. It just you missed. Well, I mean, how how necessary is a, a paramedic business in a city, really, when you think about it? Very, very necessary because people are fucking violent in large groups, overcrowded and undernourished. Yep. And where things are plentiful and the land is large... We seem to get along better because you got to travel to fight. Who wants to do that? <laughs> oh man, we got to go all the way over there to fight. Fuck it, I ain't going. I'm gonna spark up a doobie and watch me some tubi. I'm a modern day warrior. You know, I got an armchair. I hey, I can Hansel if I want to. I could be yes, just. Yes, you can. I could do that. And when I start my cult, believe me, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a cult leader someday and tell everybody what to do by God and country. Then they'll all love oh, they'll love me a long time. <laughs> People do this all the time. You know that right there. Okay, I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee and let you guys chit chat. Okay. Uh, see, did she even offer us a cup? No. <laughs> no. Damn woman. <laughs> oh, I was being Hansel. You got instructed to chit chat. Well, I wanted to bring Hansel on the show for the longest time and he won't come. So I, I sit in for him, give I give out his opinion. Eh, it's all in fun for crying out loud. All these anonymous names on a computer screen and people think it matters. And the, and the things that do matter, Mr. Bubbler. And Mr. Bubbler. Yes. No, no, no. You go ahead and bubble. I was going to stall. I did. I'm telling you. I didn't even ask. My, Sorry. I heard the bubbles. Mm. I don't know. Can, hey, uh, you like brain stuff. Do I what? Talk, uh, you like brain stuff. Fig, yeah. Figuring out rules yeah. and that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Did you ever try that game called Factorio? I talked about it a long time ago. No. I don't recall it. Factorio. But it sounds like... It, I've heard it before, so it probably was you that brought it, brought it up. Yeah, this is just a little ten dollar game, but it, it'll it'll work your brain. Oh well, I've got so much crap going on right now. I, I'm not in the mood to add to it, but if I ever do, I'll, I'll think of Factorio. I'm trying to work your brain. Because not because I'm going to uh, assume the crime. Uh, that's the American side of it. I have a right to do that too, you know. Assume the what? The crime. Oh. Everything's a fucking crime, Rob. Everything. Well, yeah, they got 50 million laws to Pe make everything, everybody a criminal. Yeah, did you, uh, 
Mary didn't make it through the day without breaking three federal laws. But not so what's to, the fucking point? Not to mention Why? the stuff that doesn't matter, like PETA. And it matters to talk about it because people are this crazy that they they even believe this kind of crap. I was listening to Grimm last night, his show last night, and he, PETA wants to, to change the name Pet because it's demeaning to your animal. And I thought, wow. This is how desperate people are to find something wrong. It's what you call a, an animal matters. Well, where does that put us? I thought we were the important ones. We got the opposing thumbs. We do all the building, and poison everything so that you could, you know, live seventy years. We are the apex predator. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I had a big old argument with Vinny and Mary. I think Mary was in on it about my perspective on how people lived a hundred years ago and they go, oh, they had such a hard life, and, and I think that's a load of shit. Because not everybody was dirt poor, and if you were eating, say, um, beef, you'd be eating hemp-fed beef, possibly. And chances are good, because hemp is a Brand weed. Yeah. Huh? Right. So naturally, naturally fed beef, not all this. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hormone laden mm-hmm. crap. Mm-hmm. Well, here again, Grimm did a thing on milk. He says he won't drink the uh, other yeah. the uh, cow's milk. He'll cow's drink milk. almond uh, almond milk, and he took a beating for for you know his. Uh, yeah. uh, but I'm with Grimm, but I'm out here on this smaller place where whatever bit of damage the Danes do, you know, with the public comes forward and complains about it. To get things yeah. changed. So they're either changed on paper and they still do the same shit. Or they tell the public here the truth. Okay, we're going to adjust it to please you. Well, y'all are still, they're still small enough to, to have to pay attention to the public. Well, you know, and then they do the same insider trading here to get wealthy while they're holding office. But the perks for the Danish politicians and salaries and shit that like that, it's not as nowhere near as good. Americans got, whew, boy, you get in that game and you, you're set. Your grandchildren are set. It's, it's millionaires. Yeah. You'd have to be stupid to blow that kind of money. But there are people that are that stupid. I'm related mm-hmm. to one of them. Yeah, I, I, my, uh-huh. I got my brother and a uh, and a cousin both had huge lawsuit deal. And my cousin lost all of his. Spent it all. And it was huge. <laughs> Unfucking believable how much money they gave him. And this idiot blew it all. I was like, wow, how could you do that? There you go. Yeah. Set for life and but anymore. right, right. <laughs> See, but there's so much wealth in the world out there. Mm-hmm. What we're taught all this ego shit, you know, and, oh this earns that Just bullshit. Right. Like, right. <laughs> so you go out there and you sell your soul for credit. Yep. Well, average Joe doesn't know what you know, Rob. You you hold the information and the proof of something that most people will never see with their own eyes because where they live. Yeah, even if you slap them upside the head with it. Well, but I live in Denmark, where this is a socialist country. And it's, you have frightening socials every week? No, I'm just, well, how I mean, it, financially, it's a socialist country. Uh, Traveling-wise, I mean, they travel amongst the EU, just like, like in the you States, how the States used to be. They still have parties in the street, street parties? I don't, I don't know. I think so. I think they do. You ever have a street party? You yeah. Have block? No, I, I, I'm not like that. I'm not into those kind of big groups. But Cirque and, and Dennis and Maria, yeah, they do. They might still do it. But they go on where they live because my brother-in-law and sister, they, the sister live in Copenhagen. Try to have a block party now and you freaking get raided. Well, what they, they don't have block parties where I live, but if somebody's going to have a big party, 
and they'll let you know ahead of time so you can you know be prepared for loud music or traffic or whatever they're yeah yeah but they're decent to each other so i i don't know i've never yeah. been so comfortable somewhere on all the neighbors mind their own fucking business yeah unless you're doing something stupid to it as my but i mean unless unless you're doing something stupid in the neighborhood we live in that nobody bothers with you but if you do something somebody will snitch you off to whatever authority takes care of that and it it would be like uh animal related or something you know something that matters yeah, yeah. We had a house, a house full of these crazy slob kids that were uh, attracting rats or something, and the neighbor next to us called them in, got rid of them, said, "Look, you can't have this." See, and <laughs> that's well. This is how it really works. Is when the old people speak up, the people that you know have, they've been voting for their whole fucking life answer to them. Yeah. Which is the way that life should work, but you know the bigger the population. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Y'all are <laughs> small enough to still have somewhat of a grip on what's what you know. Yeah, and goes. there's a bigger city. It's like a city size, about twenty kilometers from here, half an hour on the train. Yeah, it's a half hour train ride, so I don't know what's that three stops or something, but it's. Close enough to walk if I'm in a walking mood. Probably take me a day. Okay. What? It's 20 miles. <clears throat> I'm slow and short and 60. <clears throat> but I could do. I could still do 20. I could knock 20 out with my eyes closed. Well, one eye closed. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then, <laughs> but the train might not. The trades have whistles, so if you you know if you're walking on the track, they at least warn you. Hey, we're gonna run your ass over. <laughs> yeah, I might want to step off. But I could just follow the train tracks right to the next town. So, and that's how yeah, walk along them or whatever. That it's not the trains don't run more than like one every fifteen minutes or so through that goes through it either way. Yeah, it's just a really sparse population, but a lot of people use this freaking uh, train. There's more. I have joined a group that is anti-car. And, oh yeah. Yeah, and well, in in a sense, yeah, and then in a sense, there's still people that are in Cirque's family that depend on their car. So yeah, life is balanced. <laughs> You know, it's just whatever you want it to be, I suppose. Because I could see, uh, I could look at the status here and judge them, but I, I'm judging them from my experience, which is way different. So I don't. I just identify it. I know their status. You know, they wave flags and they're Danish and tra la 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 la. They got their own freaking language too. Right. Well, hey, that's like a secret handshake. Plus, <laughs> well, you know, like secret sign language. Well, yeah. Did you know that more people speak Spanish than English on the planet Earth? Well, yeah. You knew they that. Don't mm. Did you know that that English is really it's really called dog Latin <laughs> <laughs> because they changed all the definitions. To this language to fuck us up with. Because the words we use in this language, when we use them in court, you know what happens? They don't mean what we think they mean. And, the, yeah. and you know what the court tells you? That's what the lawyer's for, stupid. <laughs> but I don't want a lawyer, I want to interpret them. Exactly. It's like if, if I couldn't trust Circle. I would have never married her. You know, there you go. Why did you marry Sir? Oh, I trust Sir. What? There you go. I don't trust a lot of people in life. Do you? Are you one of those? I trust everybody as far as I can see, you know what's in front of me. And then financially, I have my limits before I get worried about money. So shit like that doesn't. I mean. I trust certain things within people. 
I trust that they will always act in their own best interest. Yeah. That's me. Okay. And, which is natural. I'm, I'm, but I'm open about that. I think of me yeah. first, baby. That's like, right. Oh, no, I'm selfish. Hmm. Well, a certain amount of selfishness is a prerequisite for survival. <laughs> I don't. I don't disagree with that at all. Um, at some point, selfish, selfishness turns into greed, and that's where you start having problems. Now, did you have those problems, or are you just uh, no? If I, hadn't, if I hadn't had those problems, I'd be a rich motherfucker right now. Ah, so you have a you have a conscience. I have the I have the ability. Oh, I could have been a, I could have been a killer lawyer. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. studied law for ten years. Um, self study, but it's you know there's so many things. I could have been a chemist. I could have. Uh, hell, I built my first computer in 1981. I could have been a Bill Gates or one of those types if I'd have gotten into it, but I got disillusioned early on. I learned uh, early on that the state doesn't give a fuck about you and uh, of course school taught me that it's all they're, they're, I I don't know why, but it, it was always just patently obvious, obvious to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, when you start off sixth grade or seventh grade and you're taking and you're and you're learning the exact same shit they taught you in sixth grade. <laughs> you know, we learned this shit last year. Uh, you know, look. And I, I, I would have the teachers all fucked up because I'd skip school Monday through Thursday, going on Friday and ace their test. Well, how are you cheating? I really fucked them up. <laughs> uh, I, 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 yeah, I, 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 Word for word, out of the book. I mean, and I have a memory. I can remember things, you know. No, I've got horrible recall like that. My my memory works different. I remember obscure shit that everybody else doesn't pay attention to, and the big, important, obvious things don't really usually get my attention. Well, in school, you know, the first the first day of school, you get your books. Mm. Well, by the end of the first week, I read all the books. Whoa. So, Mr. Pink? I was a bookworm in school. I mean, I read thousands of books. But, so, you know, by the end of the first week, I I know it all. I know the whole class, what's going to happen. Lucky you. So I'm bored as fuck. <laughs> you know, because they're going, okay, let's go to chapter two, and you're going to read on this here. Fuck you. I read it. I already read it. Let's yeah. Take the tip, move on. Let's do something new. Oh, God, I'm so bored in school. Except in science. I love science. I aced a science class in <laughs> sixth or seventh grade. I got a 99% for the year. Um, I did horrible in school, except for like, well, one I did, year, I did two, two years. I <laughs> in math, I did good in math and science. That was my English. Well, I was more of a truant than... Uh, hmm. Well, me too, in, in later years. Uh, last couple of years, like I said, I, I would show up on Friday, take the test, and ace it. And they thought I was cheating. They made me do sit <laughs> and, and uh, take a whole different test with different questions. But they're still all straight out of the freaking book, word for word. School, you know. I don't know. I, I don't appreciate school today. So you know. I don't. When they start the same bullshit over and over, especially history class. I mean, it was so obviously, you know. <laughs> but that's about, what it's about is what happened. And over and, 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 all, and uh, all it was is war. It was all about uh, all war. Yeah. It was nothing but, but war in history class. It was all about war. <laughs> not about, you know, the people or anything that they were doing or about. or. Well, how old were you well, when you first yeah, learned about it? You know, who invaded who? And yeah, how old were you when you first learned about fractional reserve banking? Um, 88. I would 
than 24. Well, how come people don't understand that we're in living in a world of promissory notes, not money, not not transaction, not trade, debt. Just debt, period. Everybody's in yeah. debt to somebody. Like so it's really debt? It's not, no. Yeah, it's, it's insane, not. right. So it's slavery because... Why do you think you're in debt? Yeah, yeah. So they but keep they you... But if you anything to start with... <laughs> I know, huh? I know. How can you be in debt? Well, now... I, the I, whole, when you go to get my house, the mortgage system, the mortgage scam... Yeah, well, they got a different system. I know, system. You, I know you know how it works. But you, yeah. I mean, there's a, the money is created on your signature. True, but there's still a different You're not system. Of anything it. of their own. Right. You go in there, you put a promissory note. They deposit that promissory note as money, move it over to another account, and write a check to pay for your house. <laughs> That's how it works. That Literally. Matter. Right, but it's. It's a different um, accounting system or something where Cirque doesn't suffer so badly here for having a property. I don't understand what you mean. Well, uh, it's a tax thing where they can't they can't fuck you up really bad with tax money if you're in debt. Okay. So right, so. Uh, she, when I met her, she was renting, and I commented, a, I said, hey, you know, the city's looking bad, blah, so she starts, let's go look for a place in the country, so here we are, but because she got in debt for the property, it relieves her on certain tax problems that she would have because of her income. So everything, okay. yeah. So it's, it, in this situation, for her buying saved her a, a money in the long run over the course of years because yeah. instead of renting. But she's aware that the bank owns the house, not us. She's not insane. And uh, it's just so much nicer to associate with people that already know that and don't have to go through the process of learning it. Because yeah. learning it was painful. Oh, man. And I lost all my friends and most of my family. Because they all thought I was a fucking idiot. And then by the yeah. by the time I was probably in my, my mid-40s, people started to really, oh. Hmm. And then when I'd given up and stayed in Scotland, that was just cut ties. <laughs> so, the... The, uh, the internet is the only communication I have left with people in the states. I think Graham's been in this. She said she was just going for coffee. Oh, she probably is talking to Wayne or Bubba. Could have been. Bubba. Nah, I'm listening to you guys. Well, what were you saying, old woman? Huh? 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 I wasn't saying nothing to anybody. I'm just sitting here listening to you guys. Wayne's on the phone. Oh, that's what we must heard, oh. Wayne. We heard something. Are we yeah, hallucinating? He's on the phone. I'm on drugs. We must be hallucinating. Drugs. I'm is, not hallucinating. So I quoted Rob for the notes. You want to hear this one? Selfishness okay. is a prerequisite for survival. Hmm? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But a lot of people don't realize that being selfish is not necessarily always negative. You know, when you, when you are being selfish and taking care of yourself first, that is being helpful to those around you because if if you get sick you can't take care of those around you when they need you so you have to be selfish and maintain yourself first and then you can assist others so, mary yeah, said so yeah selfish isn't always a negative i don't think it's selfishness. just taken there by egoic people who think that you know, I'm being selfish, so I'm going to mine, 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 keep it, mine, mine, mm. mine. You know, that that's the egoic selfish. That's greed. Mm. Yes, that wow. is greed. Mm. Whereas people that are being selfish in, selfish in their time, selfish in um, their abilities, um, selfish in their knowledge, basically means that they are maintaining 
they are keeping, you know, their time to the best benefit of themselves so that they will be able to benefit others as well when needed. So. Yep. Uh-oh. Well. Uh-oh. Yeah. Rob and I agree. <laughs> well, not only that, but I'm not, damn, now I've got to benefit somebody? Shoot. That's. Yeah, but you. Yeah, you're not responsible. Yeah. I know that's what it does. See, you're that's gonna, the selfish part, though. The R word. You can decide who you're going to be beneficial towards and who you're not. And sometimes your being beneficial is not necessarily something that you even know you're doing. People are learning by an example you're setting. Yeah. So. Or avoiding you because you you don't wash your feet. <laughs> Well, because you just don't want to deal with the energy that just plain messes with you. So, yeah, that's that's also being selfish. It's called boundaries. Is that? I don't think there's yeah. a bad side to selfishness. Then, say, all right, say somebody is being selfish towards me. They're doing me a favor. I can avoid them because I don't want to do that. <laughs> see, so. See? That's not hurting me at all. If, if you're going to act out that way, just get it the fuck over with so I know it. And I don't have to be trapped thinking, oh, you're not an idiot. And then find out later, oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> Who knew? Everybody, but you wouldn't listen. <laughs> I was being funny. I was making a, a joke about ex-girlfriends right there. Oh. Anyway. Oh, God. Do you want to hear something funny? Of I'm course scrolling I do. over on Twitter. I yeah. know it shocked you. Yeah. Apparently, Twitter. scientists identified a new snail species, and they named it after Greta. Wow. <laughs> poor Greta. <laughs> that poor kid. You know, that, but the kid was there, yeah. the kid was off. You know, not an, an not an overachiever kid that that can handle what that kid did. It was wrong, and, and I I felt horrible for. Her. Well, and it. her parents are Captain Ass Holios. Oh, there's there's no other way around it. They were in it for the money and the fucking. Oh, come on. Yeah, Please. yeah. And she has been programmed slash trained for this position yeah. and was not yeah. prepared for it by any stretch yeah, of the I imagination. I don't, I don't, I don't see see it. Yeah, pretty much. Huh. When I grow up, I'm going to be a cult leader, and I'm going to have a cult. And you know what my cult's going to be called? No. That fucking cult. Mm. That fucking cult. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Yeah. And see, when people find out that they're members of my cult, when that happens, they're going to be going, wow, well, I'm sure glad I was part of this. But until... Un until okay, shit. if it comforts you to think that way. Exactly. See, that's, <laughs> that's how I see government. It's exactly how I see this fucking government shit. And people laugh at me, but I hate Bon Jovi. Ah, fuck. If you don't engage it, then it leaves you the fuck alone. Just stay within the confines of your protected freedoms. It's a game. It's a social game. It's so easy. Well, it's, yeah, it's like the vibratory and frequency stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are not in the same frequency zone or the same vibratory zone... It's not going to affect you. You know, you, it's like, and the best way you can describe it is, if I want to listen to a radio station that broadcasts on 105.7, I'm not going to hear it when I'm tuned into 97.5. I'm just not. I know that. But you have two radios. <laughs> yeah, unless I have two radios. But, you know, it's one of those things where if you're not tuned in on whatever they're where they're coming from or what they're talking about you ain't going to hear it and the same holds true for trying to share truth with people if they are not tuned into your frequency they're not going to get it they're just not mm. no that's that's why i call it my opinions because i don't even i i can't really say i know what the truth is i just know that whatever we're doing this ain't it. We are very far away from truth and very near collapse, I would call it. And not death and all that zombies and shit like that. But 
something's going to, you know, you can only put so much shit on top of the other thing until you can't get any more up there. And they're about there again. It's it's the yurtle the turtle thing. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. You put so many on your back that, before it. The Dow took Someone a shit. Hurts. Yeah, but the Dow took a shit yesterday on a Monday, right? Nine hundred and something down. So what? You know, when these guys are playing those kind of games, the winning losing games to distract from something, what is it? The things they don't tell us are far more important than the things they tell us. Oh right? yeah, it's the pregnant pauses. That's where. Yep. Well, none of us play the stock market game, but we do have an understanding that it exists. Some people take it further and think it's real, like currency, and don't understand if you base something on fiat, then you're playing in fiat. Just like the, what uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the Bitcoin thing. It's It's got its flaws. Well, and a lot of times its value is measured by the, the dollar. US dollar. Yeah, well, all the time. It's, okay, it's ridiculous. So to me now, yeah, but I don't play the I don't play the fiat game in the first place. So hmm. what a world! You know, yeah, everybody's out for uh, who call it. They've got different things in life that matter to them. Is what I think. Yeah. Mm. So what I was taught when I was a teenager is to put it in words is water seeks its own level, and so no matter what, it's always going to want to go where it'll lay flat. Hmm. Yep. Wonder, and I'm not leading up to the globe thing. I'm just saying this was a principle that was instilled. You'll always seek what you are <laughs> in life, and course i didn't understand it for many years after i heard it but it was there you know? so i could look back at shit and go oh i get it now <laughs> that's the kind of life i've had well there you go some people did what they were told mary you know what i did what i was told for a while there okay well and, to... and there are times when i still choose to do as i'm told hmm. That I choose. It's not just a an unconscious. Okay, I was told to do this. I better go get it done. No, now mm. it's a conscious decision. Yeah, you know, it's like uh, me and Cirque. Cirque is Danish, and I am not. So she has this thing that she carries in her backpack in case the damn weather gets fucking soaking wet, so she doesn't get wet. And I usually meet her at the train with the dog, and sometimes it's all misty or a little drizzly. But me and the dog don't care about that. But today it was so bad, she says, no, you stay home, and, and I'll, I'll stop and get some milk for the coffee. And she, <laughs> she's see, she's prepared because she's from here. Now, I'm not from here, but I've been here long enough that I should... I should adapt, and, and I still, I get pampered and get to stay home instead of having my special gear to go out in the shit in. Yeah. Ah. Well, I thought that was kind of nice of her. She could have. Yes, it was. Because me and Hannah, what? we're we're not pussified yet. We get out there in the freaking snow, the rain. I don't care. Doesn't bother me one way or the other. Except that I'm when I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because that yeah. well, fucking wind is cold. Of... Yeah. Aw, me. I know, I go all Jewy. I go all Jewy Jew hood. Hey, make it warmer here. Because that's what, that's what Jews do. Oh, okay. We, well, we, I'm so glad you informed me of that. We rob you of your sunshine every opportunity we get. And then we blame it on the sand niggers because they're your enemy. They took you down at 9-11. <laughs> 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 and, and people, people get livid complaining about these things I just mock. And they're really mad at you know the, 
Saudis or the Visis or the Afghanistanis. Or, these poor people don't even fucking know what America is. You got America bombing the shit out of them. <laughs> oh, but 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 they were a threat to our national security, and so we well, had to bomb some democracy into them. Only in the big cities where they're educated and they got freaking you know, history and shit. Then then the U.S. is going to go out and wipe all that out. That's what they did to Iraq. Just devastated the whole fucking... Turned it into a shithole. It wasn't a shithole until Saddam Hussein wouldn't do what he was told anymore. And they changed that. Nope. We're not going to have that. Did the same well, thing. there are with, very few countries over in that neck of the woods that hasn't... They haven't attempted to turn into a shithole. Why? Because the Jews don't like them. You realize yep. this, right? Every enemy that Israel has, <laughs> we're right up till they get to Iran. Iran's going to be the problem. But they've always had the U.S. to go in there and do all the dirty work. <laughs> now oh, yeah. they're coming into the big times, right? Because Russia's going to support Iran. And as you all know, America hates the Russians because they meddled in your... <laughs> They meddled in your <laughs> election. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, even uh, they can see a clusterfuck when they. Uh, I don't when know. When they ain't doing it this time, it's like, really? Seriously? We don't have to meddle in that mess. Well, not a word about Ron Donald Mc Ronald Trump's holdings in freaking Russia <laughs> or business dealings prior to being the president. <laughs> come on. You guys are, you know, come on. Not you guys, but. The world, guys. These people are funny. <laughs> they make me giggle. You know, it's like there's only so many billionaires on the planet, right? Now, do you think that Trump hangs out with poor people? I don't. I think Trump hangs out with billionaires. So, there you go. Tuck. I think he <laughs> hangs out with whoever will <coughs> hang out with him. But I they're, think he doesn't. they're always rich. Oh, come on. You think he goes down to McDonald's? Well, you McDonald's? know, the circles you move in. Yeah. yeah. You think he goes down to McDonald's and buys the house around? Are you nuts? I have, I have no idea what he does. I really don't care. Mm. But, but, but he's your president. Damn. I thought he was your president. I thought he was my president, too, but I don't care. Okay, he's the guy that gets to sit in that office and have his face on a lot of bullseyes. Yeah. Well, Other than that, have, haven't the politicians done anything for either of you lately? <laughs> Do what? The politicians did what? Haven't they done anything good for either of you lately? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't paid attention to them. Other than the last. You know, I had I said something about. Frickin' politicians don't do doodly squat except for, you know, be a pain in my backside whenever they open their mouths. And my brother said, seriously, if you if they weren't doing all this crap, just imagine how much trouble they could cause if they actually <laughs> did what we sent them to do. Uh, Holy uh, shit. And I hadn't thought of it like that. So y'all just go ahead and play your Russia, 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 or let's impeach Trump will still skin or blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and play those games. Stay know. the fuck out of my private life. But, but Mary, oh, I know I am not a very good little member of the herd, am I? No, <clears throat> you're going to be a terrible cult member too. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of them. there anarchist things. You're right. Trait. I would hope so. Good lord, <clears throat> people that yeah. follow rules, follow rules and orders. Why? And, you know, when you think about all this crap, who knows when you don't break a rule in the first place besides you that broke the rule? Um, yeah, good question. You know, because... I, I don't think anybody knows what all the rules are anyway. Shit, have you seen how thick that frickin'... I think last I heard, and this has been a couple years ago, you know they haven't stopped making them, but the legal code is like 80-some 80, 80 thousand pages. Wow. Million. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's freaking insane. In the millions. Keeping yeah. lawyers so, in work. 
I'm sure breathing with your eyes crossed is against the law somewhere. Then I'm going to suggest you watch you this like Unibot movie. Federal laws. Ah, fuck the federal. Ah, see, it's all. Um, we're so gullible as a you know, collective. We put up with shit that we should not put up with. I don't get it. Because it, well, you're. I, I'm talking. I'm talking to you, not about you, Mister. Oh, you're talking to the. Yeah. So you know, do you guys? I listen to the Shali Rama guy over at UCY. He's just about as popular as me, and he's the same way. I don't do this for money, or I, I'm not trying to get famous or popular. I got something to talk about sometimes, and that's about it. This is a fun way to do it, and we're leaving a, like Vinny says, leaving a record behind for other people to hear later, because we know from life that whatever's going right on right in front of you at the moment is the last thing you're going to be concerned with, and I'm not talking about you two. I am talking to you two about people I that behave as we once did, but eventually grew out of it somehow. By luck or, you know, marriage not working or whatever it was, it, something, there was a catalyst that took us down the road we went down. And it, it wasn't popular either, Rob. You know that. Because people have preconceived notions about, oh, I don't know, stuff like money. Money is such an issue with people. Money, 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 money. So oh, they, they think that's everything. And it's it's really the, the worst part of it. Because, you know, like you said last time we did radio, they charge us to live on a planet. What? Yeah, that we were born on. Yeah. What? Wait a minute. But, see, I've got skills to uh, survive the American economy. But I don't yeah. I don't have skills to survive the Danish economy. And it was such a, a beautiful way to just cut ties financially with the uh, fiat currency system and to do physically all the things I ever dreamed of doing when I was in Scotland. You know, because I had banking and shit like that to deal with when I was there. And then, yeah, yeah well, I don't anymore. Me and Sir had a made a deal about something and I just quit doing finance. So that is, see, I get to live the, the dream I've always had about being free in a sense, because I'm free yeah. of, I'm free of the place. Well, I got, fuck, I got lucky leaving it. I had no idea I was going to ever do any of this. This was such a surprise. I'm still surprised. Well, you know, life takes us on paths that we just kind of go, how the hell did I get here? And even when you look back and try and trace your steps mentally, no. there's times when you just go, I still don't know how I got here. Not no. that I'm complaining. I'm yeah. enjoying where yeah. I'm at, but yeah. I have no idea how I got here. You, that's exactly the way I, I was thinking it while you were – I get no explanation. You know, there's reasons for it. You know, things took place, but – we're so, people are, are uh, we're pretty much the same. And we all seem to want to be long or, or be somewhere where we're comfortable. Something like that. And I've never had, you know, I didn't really have that. I always was looking for the next place. <laughs> and until Scotland, and they got, kind of got uh, my taste of being settled down. Well, there you go. But I was an old man by the time that happened. Sense. It was grown, ah, you know, age is just a number. To a degree, you know, but I was still grown up. It wasn't like, uh, well, hmm. It's just bizarre that lessons that came to me so late in life, I was willing to do them because most people at my age wouldn't put themselves in a position to have to decide. <laughs> or they'd have responsibilities that would stop them from being uh, put their self in that next step. They wouldn't go there because, well, I've got this thing I'm doing here. I can't come there. And I ah, was, yeah. yeah, and I was on a vacation and just stayed. <laughs> it's been eight years, eight and a half years. 
Sweet. Mm. Coming up on six years in Denmark in a few weeks. Or one week or yeah. something. Two weeks, something like that. Well, I can't believe I'm still alive sometimes, Mary. <laughs> you know, there's times when I think, circle, seriously? Damn. You're up for sainthood, girlfriend. <laughs> I don't I don't think I treat Cirque that damn bad. <laughs> but, okay. It's an opinion. You're entitled to that. I, I can't. That's true. I can't That's true. tell you what your opinion is, but I could try to persuade you to see things differently. But in the long run, if you have an opinion, then that's it. What the fuck does it matter to me? Well, you know, there's lots of times when I think, wow. He puts up with me. Wow. I'm just, and you know, uh, I was going down and helping my mom and stuff. And yeah. she's always saying, I am so grateful. I am so oh, happy. Yeah. I am so glad that you're here to do this. You know, all that other fun stuff. And I just tell her, see, mom, yeah. there was a reward for you letting me live past puberty. <laughs> yeah. You always like to get that joke. In, though. But yes, you're, I do. But you're right. And, yeah. you know, she laughs about it. And yeah. she says, you know, you're right. That was probably one of the smartest things I ever did was let each and every one of you guys live past puberty because y'all gave me grandkids and I can sit back and go, <laughs> how do you like it? <laughs> well, yeah. But and she's done that. And now you get the chance to plant all the knowledge that you've acquired through the Internet webs and apply it to your physical life in a way that yeah. suits you, just like Rob does, just like I do. We all do the same thing in a different way, but you, out of the three of us, uh, well, you're not presently working physically for a company, but you're still part of the machine. Yeah. Right. But you're not, you see, you're aware of all the negative sides to all that. So when I see you do something like that, I figure, well, you know what you're doing. Other people, closer friends than you, that I've known many years, do jobs that they don't even want to know the details of what they're doing because they know that it's not good. They just don't know what it, That's enough. Shush. Because yeah. the, the conscience that they got would be brought out. Because, you know, make it selling real estate. Whew, that's a twofold thing because you're, you're, you're helping people in one respect, but in another year, keeping the illusion alive and you know <laughs> and yet you know the illusion the the direction the illusion is going and the path that it has been down is not necessarily beneficial for all but there are bits and pieces of the illusion hmm. that are palatable that are good for the bulk of the people that's the only reason that the illusion has been able to continue and so why don't we just okay we recognize this is an illusion going on mm -hmm. and start weeding out the parts that don't work for everyone and and work towards you know or work on the parts that are beneficial for everyone you know, just, just because something's an illusion doesn't necessarily mean it's a hundred percent bad but you know there are there are reasons that people swallow the illusion. So take those palatable things out of it and make them reality. Take the duality out of it completely, and look at it as a, a system that does not function properly. What would yeah. you do with a physical system that did not function properly? Number one would probably be take it out and replace it with something that would work. Yes, yes. Okay, well, why do you look at government as anything different? Because there's people involved in it instead of machines. They See, they, they, they got all these loop, these heart strings and ways to get to the through the TV advertising to these simpletons that don't... I'm sorry, but they're, they've been raised to believe what they believe. That, yeah. Yeah. But see, government is an illusion or a fiction or a make-believe that has been given life mm, by yeah. people believing in it. Exactly. And so we have to deal with the fact that it, it may have started out as a made-up premise, an illusion, 
but it has a life of its own now, and we got to deal with that. Yeah. Well, the negative side of politics is way worse than the good side of politics. Mm -hmm. Sad. It shouldn't have a bad side. If, if it's so negative, why does it take up the forefront of so much life? And it does so much damage. It got too big for its britches, and it got to the point where someone a thousand miles away knows better what to do for your life than you do as you're living it. Hmm. Or that's the belief that it puts out there. And people need to realize that they are living it, they are dealing with it, and someone a thousand miles away doesn't know doodly squat about what you're going through. That's me now, yeah. I've got no physical, visual, nothing to uh, huh, really understand it. I can see a link on the Internet. But still, I, uh, it's a link on the Internet. Could be made, made, maybe it's real. Maybe it ain't. I've always, yeah. you know, I've always got that nag because I've been not trusting all oh, for a lot of years. What I see is always, eh, you look at it from this side of the room. Hey, wait a minute. That's not, this. yes, it is the exact same picture. But wait, from this angle, it looks like a different picture. So your brain picks up all this stuff, this technical visual stuff that you're not, mentally aware of and it goes on in moments Boom, and you've made yeah. your decision about something based on something you saw on the internet and it happened so quick you didn't know you did it and people think you're yeah. crazy when you talk about it well there are some things that you know based on your life experiences there are some decisions that are just done on autopilot because all of those decisions have fit together into a, a well-oiled machine, if you will. And so a lot of those decisions just kind of, okay, this is the way I see things right now. So put up and you don't even have to think about it. You got other things you can deal with. That makes sense. I mean, there's, if it didn't, you know, People would be walking around going, breathe in, breathe out. Oh, wait, I know blondes that do that. Moving along. But, um, <laughs> I, you know, I was, teasing, fun. I was teasing Grim about that uh, today. Maybe it was today or yesterday. Well, I forget what day it was. But ah, there goes Rob. We're coming, up yep. to the, we're coming up to the end of In a Perfect World on RealLibertyMedia.com with the jazz drummer Bubbles. Plane. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. I'm gonna have to get out my hand pan. Oh yeah, how how'd that Did work you... out? It's 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 okay. I'm 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 needing to to learn to. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm getting there. I mean, I can actually make noises that don't sound unpleasant. <laughs> oh. huh. That's all you know. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, when you have babies beating on pots and pans, it's not always a pleasant sound. But, you know, me me doing the hand pan thing, it at least isn't causing anybody's ears to bleed. So. I, I can make a guitar squeal <laughs> like a cat. Oh, hey, that's something I want to sign up to listen to. Yeah, well, you know, some guitarists can shred. I can squeal like a cat. <laughs> There you go. And, and speaking of my cat, turn it up loud enough. Hey, my cat! I swear, this fucking cat calls me. Me and Hannah. Oh yeah. Yep. Hmm. Um. Well, there's a few. There's a few other wacky doodle people with animals like me that claim that their animals have learned to mimic words. Oh yeah. Oh, Bubba does. Oh, okay. So you've seen it too. Well, and I'm telling you, sometimes oh, yeah. the cat will be on the staircase, and I'll hear Hannah coming from the cat. Oh yeah. And it just cracks. I believe it. Yeah, and then sometimes I listen, and I hear the cat call. One, one cry for me, and that sounds like Lou. You go, wow, that's mm -hmm. too weird. How does a cat do that? <laughs> I'm smoking the good stuff. That's how the cat does that. <laughs> 
There you go. <laughs> well, you know what? what? If you're going to smoke it, make sure it's good stuff. That's what I say. Yeah, but uh, yeah, smoke, smoking doesn't do much. It, it, it interferes with my short-term memory, especially when I do radio. But outside ah. of that, yeah, I get a little, you know, I get stupid and, eh, yeah, 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 what the fuck were we talking about? Because <laughs> that's the side effect of my particular buzz that I like. So that's what I do. There it slows me down so I can, you know, I, I think I travel at a, a vibrational speed that most people can't really handle. Okay, I won't say it. Right. No, I will. Can so, you handle it? <laughs> yeah. So, and and it, oddly you enough, the next what, line's going to be... Yeah, so can I got to tell you, what mm-hmm. popped into my yeah. head when you said that was... Uh, yeah. What's his face? Uh, God dang it, I knew his name and now it's gone. <laughs> ah, shit. You can't handle the truth. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Yeah. 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 But you can't. That, that instantly popped into my head when you said that, and so <laughs> that's we, why I can't. We can't handle the truth. As a collective, the, the group is too stacked on bullshit. Well, and that's another moment there where Hollywood basically told us the truth. Which is? A lot of people can't handle the truth. Oh, oh, oh. No, I don't think any of us could. I don't think we know what it is. Oh, I think we all find our own truth, but the truth becomes malleable after a while because you have so much input that it's like, oh, well, I thought that was true, but now when I look at it, I don't think it's so true. But I think this is true. And, yeah, so. No one is going to set me free. The angle of the dangle, Rob. Yeah, you know? There you go. There so, you go. It, oh, wow. Is it meat or is it cake? <laughs> George uh, Carlin. Meat cake. Yeah. You know when you're looking through your fridge? <laughs> it's spam. Step away. <laughs> wow. No. I'll pass. See, that's... In, in any case, i got to go, guys, because i got to go stir my... Uh, yeah, thanks, I thanks need to go for, stir it. So. Thanks for playing along with me tonight. I felt particularly picky on you today. You seem to take it seriously, so I was having an extra special giggle. Oh, well, there you go. Well, you guys have an absolutely awesome rest of your day, and thank you for letting me play, and thank you oh, for everyone Mary. in the chit-chat for listening and playing. You're, it's and always I'm going to go stir my soup. Thanks for popping so. in, Miss Mary. Sure. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> well, Rob, that's that's a tough one. She left. Now, it's on you. <laughs> now, we just got a few minutes left here. but uh, Thanks a lot to you, too, Rob Works, for popping in. <laughs> In a perfect world, we discussed all kinds of crazy shit tonight, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There is no cure for the common cold. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Hmm. Then I was like, which insurance company underwrote the moon landing? (laughs) I thought that was living proof that there was never a moon landing. (laughs) Well, you you can't drive a car. Without damn insurance, but right. in, in 1969, right. they flew to the moon with no insurance. Wait a minute! <laughs> no, they you know didn't. What? Nah, come on. No, now there's companies that insure satellites and shit. Well, yeah. Wow. Well, they had they had so much money they brought in, and then they they paid out by. Ninety percent of seven hundred plus million dollars. <laughs> so they only made seventy eight million dollars. That's you know, uh, wow, bread. those poor fuckers. You know what? <sighs> See all these Impressive. and all, billion. and they're all just magic tricks and stories to tell your children. So depressing. Ah, in a perfect world, we would probably You're not. not a these days, you're low brow, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah, well, I, I'm hoping. Two hundred feet. Don't even talk to me. All right. Yeah, well, Cirque had a new boss change today, so let's see how long my wife stays employed. 
<laughs> oh shit! You're, well, you 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 got to understand that when you when you're working under the guy, your side of it is oh fuck! Now I got this new guy to break in, this new yeah. boss to teach how to yeah. deal. You know, well, well yeah. The last guy she worked with for three years, so she knew what to do on her job. Now she's got to figure this idiot out. So. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. Uh, I hope he doesn't listen to the show. <laughs> No doubt. Get my wife all in trouble. But I don't think that'll happen. Not long likely. Now, but still, rea- see, the tr- I'm such a, a honest Abe guy. You know? <laughs> yeah. Because the, the truth sounds like bullshit, and bullshit sounds like the truth. Yeah. That's the life we live, Rob. Go figure. <laughs> anyway, Grim uh, is looking for more people. To give this wacky radio stuff a try. Well, yeah. I'm like you. I enjoy having somebody else to talk to. So, well, I'm, I like joining on shows. Cool, but I'm passing on the information for the other egomaniacs like me out there that like to talk to other egomaniacs like Rob and Miss Mary on the radio. Because <laughs> hey, some some of this shit's worth knowing. And I've listened to the, you know, after we do a show, I next day I listen to see if we said anything worth fucking knowing or not. And, yeah. Right. Within all the fucking around and ah and old jokes and crap, there is some really good stuff to follow up on so that you can get your own you know, shit together about that particular idea. And right. that's, that's all I'm trying to do. You know, give people yeah. a chance to hear the other side of the argument without being expected to believe my side of it. I don't give a fuck. You don't believe it. It's not me that's, I'm not suffering by, like Hansel's, you know, negative towards the the freedom thing, basically. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he, he, he does not, will not admit that society's socialist. <laughs> It's like, well, you got a card. You, you apply yeah. to do everything. And then he's he's supposed to be military, and he bitches about people that, that suck off the tit of a system while he sucks you know, off the tit of a system. <laughs> you can't make this shit. Doesn't get more socialist than military. No. But, 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 see, where would we be without living proof that what we're – Telling you guys, don't do this, people. <laughs> Take a look at hands. <laughs> don't be like that. <laughs> and oh, I have this really huge giant callus right on my forehead from hitting the screen. Been <laughs> for the last thirty fucking years. <laughs> anyway, okay. There's the schedule for the all the other stuff that's on the show. I got over. I'm sorry. Uh, good night, everybody. Fun, bro. Thanks. Okay, bye, bye, Rob.